Yeah, okay, so it's courtesy of McDonald's. We have here the Sweetie Meal, which dropped over the weekend, which I don't get. Um, I think, obviously, in branding terms, it's good because, hmm, yeah, I don't get this. But what it does show, I think, for most people, I guess for any up-and-coming artist, this should be the reminder or the realisation that you need that it's probably more important for you to get your branding right than it is for you to... <coughs> ensure that you have a signature sound or that you have a hit record or whatnot just concentrate on your branding of who you are as an artist because in my opinion considering the lineup of previous people that got these mcdonald's meals right bts j balvin who else was it uh travis scott i don't see why sweetie ever got a mcdonald's meal deal collaboration deal thing like it doesn't make any sense right she's got what one good track that people might have known maybe two they all kind of sound alike she's pretty much a mediocre rapper for all intents and purposes hence why she did the whole boot camp thing as an artist to try and get her bars up she's obviously an extremely attractive girl but in terms of an artist she's doo-doo i think yeah you know especially when you think of the landscape of female artists out there like there's far more people out there that you would imagine would be more lending to this than a sweetie but again it's the branding in it because you know she's known for eating really crazy combinations of things cheetos and dips and things and ketchup and sauce you know that crazy american instagram way of eating where cheese is always dripping and stuff is always flowing and there's always color all over your stuff whatever you know just kind of horrible stuff that makes you want to gag in your mouth and that's the reason why she got this deal but it doesn't really make any sense again with the previous people that they kind of had on the lineup but you know the branding of it is really cool i guess you've got this um sweet and sour sauce which is a a good um play on her name of course and it says here just drop the sweet email is an iciest summer collab of the year we've got a big mac a four-piece chicken nugget me medium fries and a medium sprite with sweetie sour sauce and the interesting part about these things is usually it's a meal right that they do the collaboration with the artist and it's like they just pick their favorite go-to meals that they eat at mcdonald's and then usually you just go and buy the same thing in your own place but sometimes it's not branded i think the travis scott stuff wasn't branded but he had merch tied in with it some of this stuff looks like it's branded but it doesn't seem like they go out of their way to create a specific burger or anything it's just what your order is at mcdonald's so it's, just, it's what they always do in stores and they just you want you to copy your favorite artist and what they do which is a little bit dumb but hey it's what it is um remix like sweetie fries and your big mac or chicken nuggets is like what just like um uh inspiration to eat stuff i, I just don't know I, <laughs> there must be a something a little bit unbecoming of a young lady to eat like this right to have like what nuggets on top of chips like this with a sauce on the top to have your big mac top taken off and have fries on top of it with the sweet and sour sauce to cover the big mac bun with sweet and sour sauce to put on top of the nuggets in between the bun like <coughs> if ever there was a way to illustrate the differences between how people in north america and europe eat this would be it like what is this this is complete garbage this is like this is like what someone would eat if they've this is like evidence of somebody's being left at home alone a lot right you're in a single parent household or you're both your parents just work all the time and like a latchkey kid you have to fend for yourself and this is kind of what you kind of make up in terms of keeping yourself fed but this just looks disgusting personally i love the branding of it of course she looks great in the pictures itself but like this just looks nasty like who's doing this who's eating like this it's just and the interesting part about it as well it's like this is all cute but imagine the outrage if we swapped sweetie with lizzo who again i'm not really the biggest fan of when it comes to her antics online but that's why sometimes i kind of understand her pain because it's okay to be like gluttonous and horrendous with your eating um ways and whatnot when you're a attractive fairly slim young lady but when you're a bit on the heavier side people then look at you like you're a disgusting pig but people don't look at her the same way in it it's just all optics it really is but this just looks like bath worthy stuff I, I just don't understand any of it i really don't and they had her kind of serving people in the mcdonald's they had security there for some reason obviously here's her looking again the press shots are really good she looks so great in everything i've seen so far the press shots are super tacky over the top um extra you know i mean they really kind of lend into her name and the diamantes and the flashiness of it all but i just i just don't understand i just don't get it this little advert as well let's play this i'm sweetie and this is my mcdonald's order 
I get a Big Mac, Chicken McNuggets, fries, and a Sprite with sweet and sour and barbecue sauce. But I like to mix it all up. So I'm going to put some fries on my Big Mac. Or top my fries with Chicken McNuggets. What? Or make a totally new sandwich like this. As long as you're doing you, you're doing the sweetie man. But for McDonald's, it's such a clever way, isn't it, to kind of get brand exposure, tie celebrities to your brand, and obviously get a bit of marketing out there, isn't it? Because you're not changing anything about what they actually do. It's just people, just them getting celebrities and telling people, it's just getting them celebrities on board and then letting them know what they order when they go there. And then, you know, the remixing stuff is like, remix is like, that's yeah, a bit cringe because, you know, playing into the whole hip hop thing. But hey, we let those guys do what they need to do. But I don't know, man. I just don't understand. For all the people out there that could be having a McDonald's deal, this seems like one of the most bizarre ones. But again, another indication that if you're able to market yourself and brand yourself, it's probably a far better place to concentrate your efforts as opposed to the quality of what you make. Um, I think you even see that with some of the stuff that Virgil's done really and the branding and the idea you know he's a hard worker he did 100 projects a day loads of collaborations that probably gets you further in your career than the actual quality of what you do and then the hope is the more you do that over time the you're learning in real time and obviously then the quality of your work would then hopefully catch up with your level of marketing and branding expertise and that's what he's been able to do so i think that's where you that's why a lot of artists if it's like musicians why it's kind of fall short they basically just lean into the branding and the shock jock marketing approaches more and just hope that that kind of can continue on forever it's interesting to see people on social pointing out that this orange jumpsuit she's wearing is fairly similar to like a very popular um well-known legendary scene from the adult entertainment world <laughs> but yeah man i don't know i don't know the, the meal looks disgusting the remixes look like you know something that you'd see on some instagram food page i don't get it but i guess you know for people that want to be part of celebrities worlds this probably makes sense if you want to you know eat like a queen um but i don't know i don't know there's these icy remixes things not for me